Uh, in this video, I would like to show you how to uh, use the uh, unobserved components model to uh, forecast a time series. So uh, I'm still using my monthly uh, data, monthly sales data that I have used before. This time I'm going to use Prague unobserved components model. Okay, and my data is the same as before. Uh, supply chain management, 6224, uh, monthly sales okay and as before I want to restrict the data to years uh, 2009 and uh, later okay so um, in this uh, procedure uh, we also have to um, specify which period indica indicates time okay so id period means time is indicated by uh, the variable period and the interval uh, will be here month okay in your case uh, the interval will be week okay so uh, which variable are we modeling we're modeling this sales value okay and then um, so, um, what do we have here? Um, this, we would like to know the level of time series. We're going to have a slope, which is the same thing as trend. We will have a seasonality, okay, of length, uh, 12 periods. In your case, this is going to be 52, okay? And then we're going to have an error component, which is called irregular. Okay. So we're going to have these. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to estimate. Uh, what are we going to estimate? We're going to estimate level, slope, seasonality factors. And then we're going to have a an error component, estimate. And I want to... Uh, use the last 10 periods, last 10 observations as my uh, holdout sample. Okay. And then uh, I want to forecast. Okay. So um, we held back 10. Okay. And I want the forecast to be uh, 20 periods into the future. And I want to see the plot. Okay. Uh, and I also want to see the forecast printed. Okay. So when I run this model, um, let's see uh, what we get. Running, 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 running. Okay. So... Um, Time ID variable, uh, estimation, first observation. Uh, did I say? Yeah, we should. I see this should be 2008. Okay, let me rerun this. Okay, uh, yes, January 2009 through August 2016, 92 observations. Okay, why don't we have 2017 data? Well, because that's our holdout period. That's out of sample. And um, so we have these estimates. Um, okay, so uh, we're looking at the uh, seasonality, air variance, slope, air variance. So here, the slope. Of the variance of the slope is non -sig not significant. Uh, so the slope is fairly straight. Uh, there's not much uh, ups and downs in slope. Slope goes up straight. Similarly level, again, uh, not significant. Uh, and also uh, the variance of the uh, error term is not significant. So we don't have much of an error. Now, what does it, this mean to be 
to have that much of an error. If you look at R squared, it's 96, almost 97 percent. Okay, so we're very, very close to the actual. That's why we don't have much of an error left. Okay, so our forecast is so good, it explains 97 percent of the sales. Okay, so the remaining 3 percent error is almost negligible. Okay, so what else do we have? Uh, we have a positive outlier, uh, possible outlier. Uh, so, f uh, so these are the forecasts. Uh, okay, smooth the trend. So this is the important one. So uh, this is the sum of all uh, smoothed components. So level, trend, seasonality, everything, except for the error term. Okay. So these are our estimates, except for the error term. And these are the actuals. Okay. So, um, okay. These ones, okay. So these 10 are the holdout sample, uh, another 10 periods into the future are forecast, okay? So this is our forecast uh, for the future. And um, these are the actual values, small circles here. You can see they're very, very good. I mean, I, at this point, I would, if you get something like this, just stop and use these forecasts, okay? Uh, so this is trend, uh, okay, uh, again, smoother trend plus seasonality, okay. So let's suppose your, your forecasts are not as good, okay, so what do you do? One thing you can do is uh, try this. Uh, so you want to, uh, if you want, you can... Um, uh, use, uh, you can tell SAS not to look for a, uh, a an error term associated with level, okay? So for that, what you do is bar zero, no est, okay? So, um, and then you can do the same thing for uh, uh, slope, no est, okay? And here var uh, zero equals no est. Okay. So here um, I'm uh, setting all the variances here to zero. Okay. Let's see if we get a better uh, better fit. Okay. Uh, again, uh, level error variance. These are all the zeros we set these uh, values to. Okay. Uh, R square uh, has dropped. Okay, it's not a better fit, but still, I think it's going to be very good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, again, it's, it's very good. See, these are almost like right on. Here you have some variability. Let's suppose you still don't get a good fit. Okay, uh, so we may have to tinker with the. Uh, 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 with the uh, 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 error term, okay? So we can use a uh, an autoregressive model for the error term. SP equals one or two. Now, what is autoregressive? Uh, uh, I just don't want to explain it. It's just extremely long and complicated. But uh, you can try this. It may help. Okay. Uh, let's see. R square again increased a bit from last time. Um, you can try SP1, SP2, but you know, just one or two, maybe three, but not more than that. Maybe let me just try p equals two. Okay. Um, let's look at 
the R square value. It's uh, 96, almost the same. Since since the initial forecast is so very good, it's almost impossible to uh, to improve on this. So this is basically how you generate a forecast using a uh, an unobserved components model. These are your forecasts graphically. Uh, these are your forecasts. Uh, the forecast should be here. Yeah. Uh, forecasts, uh, the 20 period forecasts. Okay. Um, and um, you have the confidence intervals for these forecasts. Okay. So uh, you can use different lengths of uh, holdout period. For example, I use 10 periods. You can use 15, 20. Uh, play with these numbers and see what kind of results you get and which re uh, results tend to be more uh, robust.